Welcome back to another Taytay video. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get VShare on your iDevice. This is an iPhone 7 Plus, uh, 256 gig, the matte black one. I'm not sure if you can really tell. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so all you want to do is you want to have your computer. Uh, this only works on Windows based computers for now. So you just want to go to Google first and you want to type in vShare. Okay. And so. So you're going to just go navigate to this website right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to download the Windows version. So right here we're just going to let it download really quick and then once it's done I'll get back to you guys and we'll finish the process. So once it has finished downloading, um, you go right here and it has uh, one key installation or you can do a custom in installation I, re I recommend just the one key installation so you're just going to go ahead and hit it and you're going to give it a second and let it load everything As you can see it says installation finish and you can go ahead and tap try it now. And at that time you do want to plug up your phone and I am using the iPhone 7 Plus. And as you can see I do have VShare. I'm going to go ahead and delete it at this point. Um, get it reinstalled and right here it's waiting for the Apple device drivers to install so if you get this screen it's perfectly fine just let it download the drivers to the computer that you will need And there you see right there that um, the iPhone 7 Plus does work with VShare, although it does recognize it as an iPad for now, but since it does, so the next thing you want to do is go right here and you want to um, reauthorize the device. When this is your first time doing it, it's automatically going to do this. You're not going to have to actually do it. Okay. And once that's complete, you want to go ahead and press OK. And right now I'm going to check my device. And you want to hit trust. And there you go. Be sure is back on the device and we're gonna go ahead and skip that and there you go that's how you install vshare on the iphone 7 plus running ios 10.2 and just show you right here real quick 
that I am running iOS 10.2. So thank you for watching, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see any videos or if you did not understand how to get this to your phone, I will be answering questions and making more videos for you guys. Thank you for watching, peace, I'll catch you in the next one.